I'm looking for platypus in northwestern Tasmania. This is Warraway State Reserve in La Trobe. La Trobe makes this big call and calls itself the platypus capital of the world, so hopefully I shouldn't have a problem. Warraway is a Tasmanian Aboriginal word that means plenty or plentiful, so hopefully we see plenty of platypus today. What animal in Tasmania is over 100 million years old? Lays eggs in a nest, has a very low body temperature so loves basking in the sun and also has a poisonous spur that it uses to fight. Sounds all very reptilian doesn't it? But it's not. It's the platypus. They're so old that some people refer to them as reptiles with fur. Check them out. A million years ago, Australia was part of the southern supercontinent Gondwana. The dinosaurs were still at their peak. They went to extinction about 65 million years ago. The platypus had evolved, was in a similar form to what it is today. That makes it easily the most primitive, earliest mammal left on the planet. Platypus, along with echidna, are the only two egg-laying mammals, or monotremes, left on the planet. Monotreme actually means single hull. It just describes the cloaca. A cloaca is a common vent. We've got everything plumbed into separate holes, urethra, anus. Marsupials, monotremes, birds, reptiles have got it all plumbed into one hull. It's an odd feature and it just shows how primitive they are. Most studies show that platypus are a brilliant indicator of the environment. They only live in the cleanest water. The Mersey River that runs through La Trobe has been shown to have the highest population density in the world. That means that La Trobe's claim of being the platypus capital of the world is not so misleading. Platypus eat invertebrates. Crayfish and shrimp are two favourites. In Tasmania, they eat this guy called Anaspides, or the mountain shrimp. This shrimp is over 240 million years old. It's one living fossil eating another. Platypus swim blind. A second eyelid covers their eyes so they can't see. They feel for their prey using that rubbery beak. Scientists think that it's one of the most sensitive organs on the planet. Something akin to a hammerhead shark, great white shark, but much more sensitive. Remember, they're eating nymphs, crayfish, shrimp, tiny invertebrate prey. Platypus, being a mammal, have to surface to breathe air. They'll die for around 90 seconds. Throughout the course of a day, they'll die thousands of times. The platypus is the only known toxic mammal. They've got a poison gland up here and they envenomate each other through a spur found on the back wrist. The males use it when they're fighting for a mate. For us, apparently it's the most painful bite or sting that a human can get. It really screws with the nervous system. I really don't want to find out. Amazingly, the platypus has seven layers of fur. The air trap between them is pushed out as they dive. The early naturalists thought that these bubbles indicated that platypus breathe through their skin. It was really quite a bizarre idea. When Sir Joseph Banks returned to England after discovering the Great South Land, he had a specimen of the platypus. 
When he presented his specimens to the Royal Society, he was laughed at. They thought it was a hoax. Not in all of God's creation could you have an animal that had a leathery bill and web feet like a duck, a tail like a beaver, no teeth, swim, aquatic, they laid eggs. It was a paradox. We know now that it's legit, but back then they seriously thought he was wrong. Because platypus eat invertebrates, they're very sensitive to water condition. We can play our role by being careful about what we put down the drain.